I'm Mike Hanewald, field agronomist with Bex Hybrids, and here to talk about a very important planter setting uh, with you today. And it's not depth or down pressure or closing wheels or row cleaners. Uh, this setting is your population, your seeding rate. How many seeds per acre are you are you dropping? And uh, we've uh, we've always known that that's very important, but we've done some research the last two years across the state of Ohio, uh, and that has shown that it's it's just as important, if not more important, than what we had previously thought. And so this research comes from what we call learn plots. So it's where we take a traditional uh, corn test plot where we plant very, multiple hybrids from a low, uh, early maturity to a full season uh, hybrid. And we plant those like you would a traditional plot. The difference, however, is that before we start planting, we load a variable rate prescription into the planter monitor to plant the front third of the plot at 28,000, the middle third of the plot at 32,000, and then the back third of the plot at 36,000 so that we get to evaluate all the hybrids in that plot at three different populations. We started this project in 2022 with six uh, different plots, and then th this past year in 2023, we had um, 15 different plots across the state where we did this. And uh, we looked at those results. Now, uh, one of the interesting things that you see, first thing is, is, is visual. And so <clears throat> throughout the growing season, we noticed a difference even in plant stress. And so what you're looking at is, is one picture, this, the same hybrid uh, planted at two different populations, 32 versus 36,000. And you see that the 32,000, the lower population, saw significantly less stress um, in that, that corn as we moved into the second half of the growing season. Uh, we also then can look at ear sizes and, and ear growth. And so highlighting two different hybrids here um, and just chose these as, as kind of ex examples of, of differing ear types and, and different hybrids. So we're looking at 5794, which more, is more of a fixed ear type. And you can see that at all three populations, those ears on your screen, that, that it maintained that ear size even at the higher populations. 6184, on the other hand, is more of a flex-eared hybrid. And so when you give those plants a little bit more space, that ear will be larger. And you can see that when we give those plants less space at the higher populations, we see more tip back and, and that ear size drops off um, due to that in increased stress. And so it, the key is then finding the balance of what's the most economical um, population. And so that's what our results then show here at the end. So looking on your screen, you'll see 5794 has been tested over the last two years in 14 different plots, and seven of those 14 plots saw 36,000 as the most profitable population. The seed cost was factored into this. So all those green cells that you see on that chart that are highlighted, that's the winning population. And then we average it out <clears throat> and find 36,000 to be the winner. Now, 32,000 was only $6 less profitable than 36,000 was, so not a big difference there. But when we drop down to the 28,000, you see that we were over $40 less profitable per acre um, at that lower population. So 57.94, that, uh, a fixed year hybrid takes a little bit higher investment in seed cost, but well worth that extra investment in final yield. Now, however, <clears throat> 61.84, the flex year hybrid that I mentioned earlier, that hybrid, we see the total opposite end of the spectrum. So we see 28,000 as the winning population, and that's seeding rate, not final stand. Um, so of the eight plots where we tested it, four of them saw that as the winning population, but even when you average in all eight plots, um, that turns out to be the, the most profitable. Um, but look at when you plant too high. It costs you $27 at the 32,000 population and $34 um, in less profit at the 36,000 population. So... Um, we are seeing a better yield at the lower population, lower seed cost, and uh, ultimately uh, resulting in more profitability. Now, 28,000 might seem incredibly low compared to what many of us might uh, think of as a normal planting population, but I want to point out um, some of those, those yield results that you see there, um, ranging from 234 to 288 bushels per acre at just a 28,000 seeding rate. If the hybrid has the right characteristics, we don't have to push the populations excessively high to maximize our yield potential. And so the key message I wanna leave with you today is make sure that before you go to the field with the planter, you understand what hybrid you have in your seed box and match the right population for that hybrid. Um, talk to your seed dealer and regardless of what seed brand or what hybrid you're planting, they should be able to provide that information for you uh, to help you make sure that you're, you're reaching that hybrid's potential. Even without a variable rate uh, capable planter, it doesn't take that long to adjust the sprockets and set that, that population. 
And so every time you fill the planner, make sure you're asking yourself, do you have the right population to match the hybrid characteristics as well as the productivity of the field that you're planting? If you have any questions about this or any other agronomic topic, feel free to reach out to myself or your local VEX representative, and we'd be happy to help. And we wish you all a safe and successful planting season.